dealing with leaky gut syndrome, the biggest way to improve it is to change the dog's diet. And you definitely want to eliminate any processed foods from the diet. Um, if you can switch to a raw diet, that would be ideal. Dogs that have been on processed commercial foods for a long time, um, they'll have to be transitioned slowly to that raw diet. So you may want to utilize the help of someone who is an expert in raw diets for dogs or specializes in canine or carnivore nutrition to help you transition your dog to a raw diet. Um, there are also supplements that you can provide your dog. One of the most common would be pre and probiotics. When dogs have leaky gut syndrome, they often have bacteria in their guts that are what we would call the harmful bacteria. So we want to encourage growth of the beneficial bacteria. And to do this, we can use pre and probiotics um, to create an environment in the gut that is positive for the growth of beneficial bacteria and the probiotics actually contain the strains of that bacteria that you're introducing into the dog's gut. So I just wanted to take a moment to share Max's story with you. Max is a approximately 14 year old miniature pincher chihuahua who I adopted from the Humane Society about two months ago. Um, Max was dropped off at the Humane Society by his owners to be euthanized because he had a lot of health issues going on and he's an older dog. Um, I went there looking for a dog like Max so that I could um, rescue a dog that nobody else would want more or less. Um, so Max came to me with a list of health issues. Um, he was very, very overweight. They gave him a 9 of, out of 9 on the body condition score, which is as high as he could be. He, had a, he has a hypoactive thyroid. He has Cushing's disease. He has dental disease. He has um, a few masses, one of which we removed recently off of his foot. Um, and he had some digestive upset when I first got him. He had um, some colitis, so he had diarrhea with some mucus and blood in it. Um, so he, he had a lot of issues going on. So slowly, um, we made some changes to Max's life, and those changes have all been very, very positive for him. In addition to treating Max's thyroid and Cushing's disease with medications, I also started him on a raw diet and supplemented him with Chinese herbs and antioxidants. Um, he also began exercising a lot. I live on an 11 acre horse property, so Max went from probably having very, very little exercise to being very active. Um, so this was kind of hard on his body at first, but luckily I also do a lot of body work. So he got some chiropractic adjustments. He got some kinesiology tape to help him through that. Um, and he's really become accustomed to exercising more. So this has been great for him physically and mentally. Um, so a combination of everything that I was doing, it helped clear up his digestive issues within a few days. His stool was normal. His poor skin coat quality, he had very, very flaky skin. Um, and his coat just didn't look very shiny at all, kind of rough and dull. That cleared up in about a month. He looks a lot healthier now. And his weight is definitely improving as well. He's losing weight and becoming more of a proper weight for his, for his size and his breeding. So that's Max's story. Um, I think a lot of dogs can benefit from just basically focusing on their gut and trying to provide them with good quality food, supplements, um, not over medicating and watching out that you're not exposing them to too many toxins and uh, just taking care of the gut health. Is your dog suffering from multiple food allergies, fatigue, skin conditions, or other symptoms with no apparent cause? If you answered yes, you should consider the possibility that your dog has a leaky gut. How can you tell if your dog has leaky gut syndrome? Watch the next video to find out how to.